Pisces, what's poppin'? Oh. All right, my bad. Siri activated. We still running yet? Pisces, what's cracking? Uh, let me hit you with the rundown. I should get some water. Uh, this is an intuitive exercise. Please do not take everything I say oh so literally, or you probably end up shooting yourself in the foot. You got to be able to wipe away all the white noise that that you deem or see and apply it to your life. Just same way you watch TV and you get subliminal messages from the TV. You got you just got to wipe away all the extra colors. Same thing here. You got to be able to wipe away the extra colors and pick out what's for you and what's not for you. Now, this is for Pisces. So, look at your chart. Wherever you have Pisces in your chart, please understand. You got to take that house. Take the planets in that house as well as this message. Throw them all in a pot. Stir them up. And apply that to your life how it may, how it may apply to you. All right? Right now, we're in the waxing crescent moon. So, therefore, we are, though it's 4% now. Nah. We only 4% in the waxing crescent moon, but we still in the waxing crescent moon. One, 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 while I say this. So hear me when I'm talking, when you hear me talking. The song that's playing for you is busting. Now, waxing crescent moon brings the energy to think of new thoughts and ideas and feelings on how to build upon a foundational structure A, you will have already built. This could be third dimensionally or fourth dimensionally. Third dimensionally, people, places, and things outside of you. Whether you want to build on new ideas on how to take your business a step further, take a relationship a step further, take whatever type of third dimensional aspect a step further. Or fourth dimensionally speaking, whether 1221 when I say this, I just looked at the time. Or how you could take ideas in your head a step further, take a mental foundation a step further, or build a new mental foundation. Waxing Crescent calls for us to build and plan for our future. Keep that in mind. So now is the time to be coming up with thoughts, feelings, and ideas on to how you can build towards your future. Okay? Now without further ado, Pisces, I'm gonna call three for you and keep pushing. The song that's playing for you right now. Hold on. Hold on. Ooh, no. It's kiss me more. So you may be asking somebody to kiss you more. You may want to be kissed more. I don't know. This this may be love for you. Who knows? I need three cards for Pisces. Pisces, where you at right now? Pisces, where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? I need one for Pisces. If I get the same card, but like I've been seeing, it's the, it's the same couple cards in rotation right now. We under an energetic cloud. Shout out to Cancer Season. And they got everybody in a, not, if, if not a similar, almost a similar space. That's why the same cards keep coming out. It's 78 cards, and I, and I promise I haven't seen about the same 20. Boom. Look. Pisces, this is you right now. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Upright. This is you... Using all the elements to manifest something that'll help your garden grow. And not only that, but you're nurturing and take care, taking care of that. Now, the Queen of Cups came out, so, but it came out in reverse. So you might have manifested something that you thought would take you somewhere. You thought you could build on top of this coin. Look at the way she's looking at that coin. You fell in love with that idea. This is something tangible. You may be dealing with an earth sign, though. This is something tangible. So this could, this fourth dimensionally speaking, we're talking about a, a solid mindset, a solid mind frame, a solid mental foundation. Third dimensionally speaking, this could be a business, person, place, or thing in your immediate environment. So take it as it applies to you. But regardless, you thought whatever this was was going was going to have you flourishing. Look, look at the flowers. Look at the gardens around the car. Just in the, her total, she looked balanced overall. But like this though. This is reverse. So instead of you using the elements to manifest your garden, it's like the elements are using you and it's tearing down your garden. You try to manifest something and you try to, you probably try to manifest it the wrong way because it's in reverse. And now your garden is not growing. That shit's dying. Look, and you, and you, whatever it was, you probably was taking quick action on it or you needed to take quick action in the opposite direction because this is reverse. So you need, you probably needed to take quick action on something else. Look, Hierophant, yeah, something being brought to an end that you should have took action on, but you didn't take action on. Dude. Come on, what's that? Look, son, you, this is, look, look, look. you could have balanced something out now. Nah. 
you, you, you might still be able to, if I'm being honest with you, because this, uh, this is out in the upright, but ooh, Queen of Cups is in reverse. So because you are like this, because some, ooh, no, close, my fault. All right, so because you are like this, because something is not growing for you, it got you emotionally out of whack. Queen of Cups is in reverse. Queen of Cups upright is somebody who knows what their emotions is, knows they can give emotions if they wanted to. They got so much emotions, they could spread it to the world. God damn it. And you, and you the queen of your emotions, nobody else. You may be dealing with a water sign, you may be dealing with an earth sign, you may be dealing with a water sign, right? But it's in reverse. So it's like, because you, your, your physical world or your physical mind, physical being mental structures, mental foundations you built upon, or a physical world being person, place, things outside of your immediate reality. Whatever it is, because that is unstable, because that is out of balance, emotionally you are out of balance. And you could, at one point, you probably could have took your emotions and brought balance to a situation. You, because the, the two of cups, this is, a, this is a, a relationship between two people, that two people being your masculine and feminine energies internally, being balanced out and being brought un being brought to a place of unity to elevate towards a higher perspective, a higher enlightenment emotionally because they're exchanging cups. Or this could be a person outside of you. Did I say person outside of you? Third dimensionally, this could be a person place or thing outside of you. Fourth dimensionally, this could be your masculine and feminine energies balancing themselves out in, in, internally to bring you to a higher perspective, to bring you to a higher thought or a feeling or idea. I want to say feeling because they're exchanging cups. So you could have been brought to a higher feeling emotionally about a certain topic had you chose to take that step. I need one more card though. Oh yeah, look. Okay, so you may want to work hard on that situation now. It's like because something's not working. Look, the sun. It's like something you know makes you happy. The sun card. The sun is ultimate happiness. What's under that? Three of cups in reverse. Something was a... Three is a crowd. Three is a party. Three is a crowd. And they all got cups. You, you, you might be real emotional right now, Pisces. All these goddamn cups. What's under that? Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Look. So you, are, you. This is the one. So this is you. Emotionally, this, I want to. I don't want to say emotions because we talking pinnacles. You, you, you out of you out of whack right now. You out of balance. What song playing right now? Late at night. You might be up late at night because of whatever you tried to build ain't bring you the harvest you thought it would. And because of that, you you probably now want to bring emotional balance to a situation and you're willing to work hard to try to bring that balance to a situation because at one point it made you happy The sun with the sun card out. You may want to try to bring balance fourth dimensionally speaking, you want to, you may want, you may be working hard to bring balance to your emotions because right now in the either mental structures, this is fourth dimensionally. So mental structures or mental foundations you once built upon because the fact that this card is out this is something you built so that you once built upon that brought you balance doesn't bring you balance anymore so this is the one this is you this is another perspective of a two you may want to try to bring emotional balance to that but you can't because it's like structures you built i'm talking fourth dimensionally now structures you built fail Mental foundations you built fell. Mental foundations you built, it's like the foundation cracked and crumbled. And that, but you want to bring, you want to work hard to bring balance to a situation. Fourth dimensionally speaking. Now, third dimensionally speaking, this could be like a person, place, or thing, or a business idea that you once invested in that brought you, that brought fruits to your garden, that made your garden flourish. Now it's not making your garden flourish. Instead of your garden growing, your garden's dying out. And you want to, you, you, now you, because you're not, your garden's dying, you want to take emotional action to bring balance to a person, place, or thing outside of you. And you want to work hard at doing that because once upon a time, it made you happy. But this card came out in reverse. So it's like you probably, if this is fourth dimensionally speaking, you had emotion, you had an emotional connection to ideas 
or foundations that you didn't want to let go, but you had to let go. Because your, your, your foundation fell. You feel what I'm saying? So Pisces, you're going to have to take that as it applies to you. But right now, it's like you want to work hard to bring balance towards the situation because you're, you're not balanced right now, for the most part. What song is playing right now? Talking about. Yeah, you might be talk. You might want to talk about bringing balance to a situation, or you talking about bringing balance to a situation because right now you're not balanced. But you want to work hard at bringing balance to something that once upon a time made you happy, Pisces. That's Pisces. Hey, hey. 